And here he is, the owner of four famous burger locations throughout Brazil, but more saliently for this audience, the King of Rio, the former two-time UFC featherweight champion, the one, the only, Jose Aldo Jr. The only thing better than that hamburger is Jose <laughs> Aldo's fighting ability. He can strike with anybody. The leg kicks, Jose Aldo has a combination that he's done from the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it from the knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that beautiful liver shot. To finish in Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 145's ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a bona fide featherweight contender. Proven ground here tonight, and what else can you say about what he did against Abu Dhabi? Close fight against Piotr Jan, but that really served to put him on this championship trajectory. Well, you gotta stand out and take note when you fight someone like that. So close. Even if he had lost, you had to give him his respect. But ultimately, he got the decision. This guy is a great striker. The one area where we have not seen him tested is in the grappling. Tonight, he will have to rely on that if he wants to get another victory in what has been a fast-paced ascent yeah. up the Bantamweight rankings. And he is a willing grappler. We've seen him compete in Quintet Ultra, Augusto Tanquino, Mendez, UFC veteran there firmly in his corner. But you're right, we haven't necessarily seen Sean O'Malley tested in that realm as yet. And now our tail of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Jose Aldo looking to humble the great Sugar Sean O'Malley tonight. Well, Jose Aldo is the greatest featherweight of all time. Jose Aldo is a guy who makes his way at bantamweight now and is doing an amazing job. But Sean O'Malley, he is a star, man, and you saw it right away. From the moment he hit the contender series, he knew this kid had something. He has shown that he can fight the best in the world, but I feel like tonight the challenge is even greater because Jose Aldo is one of the greatest of all time. You can't bounce around with him. You gotta get it, get in his face and try to take the fight to him. Checks that leg kick. Fast leg kick lands. Oh man, that couldn't felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Great defensive skills. He blocked that punch. 
We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Right on the button. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh, right hand landed. There you go. Big up the cut. Oh, well, good news is he left him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots loading on both sides. <laughs> Straight right hand, no good. Under a minute now to go in this one. A swing and a miss by Alvin. Beautiful leg kick land. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to it. All right, there's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left, UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth action. Sign the check, boss. These two <laughs> young men deserve 50,000. Hell, let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment and I can't wait until the next round gets started. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was Ready that fight? big strike to the head Ready. that landed that Ready. put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Oh, nice combination there from the king of Rio, Jose Aldo. He's really had a career renaissance of late, and once again, putting it all together in the stand-up team. O'Malley's kick is blocked. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Let me show you the head strikes. Aldo gets caught by yet another straight punch. Big inside kick. O'Malley's oh, left calf does not look good. You see the belt, you see the obvious signs of bruising. Don't want to take too many more of those. A beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Work, work, come on. And that was constant danger in the engagement there. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. Looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Oh, a huge right hand from Jose Aldo. We'll see if he can follow it up here, DC. Lot to like out of what Jose Aldo has done in the stand-up here tonight. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Under a minute to go. 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Out as bleeding from the mouth, Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed oh, it up. He had high oh. level on the ball low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. That kick blocked by Al. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Solid kick lands here. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Sean O'Malley. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, a lot of sting behind these kicks. Solid leg kicks here by Alda. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big right hand. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood is going to the cut. Oh, a huge kick to the leg. Good job blocking that shot. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He has You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. All right, so you see some redness on that calf. Maybe he's starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. It's starting to really hurt him. Under a minute to go. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish him. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to east the zone, I guess. I'd be rushing. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed 
that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the hearts, we'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh, no way, spinning back fist. A strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. He's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm just trying to make you carry my weight. I don't necessarily want to be here, and I don't know if this guy wants to be here right now. He will use this to try to get to the next position. Don't want to be there for more reasons than one. Oh, big shots raining down. Let his opponent stand up here. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really start. Oh, Sean finds the target there. Kill shot is what they call it to go in the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, with that, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 27 seconds of round number 4. You're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Sugar Shaw. So Sugar Sean O'Malley gets it done yet again tonight as we congratulate the fighter and his MMA lab teammates. He had some doubters coming in here tonight, Joe, but once again, Sean O'Malley is able to silence all his naysayers and produce on the biggest of stages. Congratulations to the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley.